and welcome to Midwest RV. My name is Ray Poston. It's my pleasure today to show you guys our select suites by Doubletree RV, uh, pre-owned RV that we took in on trade. Uh, guys, this is, I'm going to point out a bunch of stuff on this thing that is not standard, okay? This is built for the full-time RVer. Uh, this thing is meant, uh, it'd be a great overwintering camper. Um, something for somebody who needs something that is very well insulated, very well constructed, and uh, looking for that high quality uh, livable fifth wheel, but at a very affordable price. So here on the outside, we're going to touch on a few things. So this is a 42,000 BTU furnace, okay? So much larger furnace than your average fifth wheel would have. Um, when we get inside, we'll talk about cooling and air conditioning. But uh, one thing to point out on this, your pass-through storage does come with a quick draw tray. All right. So anything I'm going to store in here, I have easy access to uh, via this tray. Uh, this is lighted. I want to have, if Dean can get in there, I'm not sure if he'll see it or not, but there's uh, all your plumbing lines, everything are insulated inside here. This is heated down here. So again, all stuff designed so that this thing can make it through the winter for you uh, without any problems. Okay. Uh, we do have two propane tanks in here. Um, I think they're 30 gallon. They're pretty big. They might even be bigger than that. All right. So down here, I want to point out underneath here that this does come with a Cummins Onan uh, LP generator, 5500 watt generator. Again, guys, if you're going to live in this thing, this is a go anywhere, do anything type unit. Right? We're set up already to be self-contained. Uh, we've got our own power supply. We really don't have to be plugged in anywhere. So if I'm out in, say, the oil fields of North Dakota, I'm doing pipe fitting somewhere, um, or I'm just traveling around, right? I don't always have to stop at a campsite with this unit. Um, coming around the back side, a couple things to talk about here. We have battery disconnect. Uh, we have two jack controls, hydraulic jacks. So this thing uses industrial strength hydraulic jacks. They will raise and lower the unit. It's not an auto level system, but you can level front to back with this system. All right. On this side, two large oversized house batteries and an industrial strength hydraulic pump. Okay. Again, guys, this thing is just, it's super beefy. Um, you know, when we talk about the modern RV today, the modern fifth wheel, the stuff that people are living in, a Montana or a Redwood, things of that nature. Uh, you're talking about two inch thick sidewalls in those units. This thing has three and a quarter inch thick insulated sidewalls. In that sidewall is also a quarter inch thick vapor barrier level to the outside and the inside, so no condensation, no sweating, any of that. Water system, outside shower, got our tank pulls, fresh water connection, sewer tank flush, again, everything inside an insulated compartment. Once again, built for use in colder weather. A uh, little sewer hose storage right here. And the rest of the stuff, guys, on the outside, we got a 12 gallon gas electric rapid refresh water heater. So, nice size water heater. Again, for those people living in it, we do have 10 ply E rated tires on a uh, 16 inch aluminum rim with an Equiflex trail air suspension, all just designed to help improve the ride and how this thing tows. So that's it for the outside, guys. I'll meet you on the inside of the unit. Guys, uh, welcome to the inside of this DRV 36 TKSB um, triple slide unit. Um, so we're gonna talk again about the stuff that kind of makes this more residential, right? More uh, a livable unit. So we mentioned on the outside, the three and a quarter inch sidewalls. Um, that's giving you a much better insulation inside this unit. Um, there is vapor barrier uh, to the outside of that underneath the fiberglass and to the inside so we don't have condensation coming through the walls or sweating to the outside of the walls. Again, making it a, a much more comfortable space. Dual pane windows, all right, so that's going to help with the insulation. It's also going to help with noise cancellation, so it's going to be quieter in this uh, than a standard single pane window. Um, eight inch real wood uh, fascia board, all real wood doors, drawers, cabinets, um, you know, real light switches, right? So I'm not looking around for teeny tiny buttons to push on these things and having to go to individual lights to turn them on and off. 
uh, wood casements on our windows, right? And again, just like our just like our house, right? A um, couple of things to point out that aren't normal, right? So I, I think at some point all of this furniture's been replaced. So we have a different dinette, chairs, and we just recently replaced the sofa here in the back. Uh, that is a, a leather jackknife sofa, very comfortable sofa to sit on. We do have day-night shades, all right? So we pull down our day shade, pull down our night shade. Uh, that's going to be our, our sleeping shades, right? Keep everybody from viewing in. Um, in, in this uh, living room area, all right, we have a pull-down desk drawer. Um, so again, I can set my keyboard and mouse here. I can plug up into the TV. Uh, there is a release feature right here that allows the TV to swing out and gain me access to all this space behind. So I mean, I, I could keep you know valuables or whatever back in here if I wanted, um, but uh, also allows me to watch TV from the kitchen, right? Mm. Plenty of storage in this. You know, I mean, deep, deep drawers. I mean, these drawers are so deep my whole arm fits in there and I'm not a small guy all right so lots and lots of storage we got an appliance garage here in the kitchen you know, nice place to keep the can opener the toaster oven those kind of things adjustable height shelf in this one uh, Corian solid surface countertops so you know if I'm cooking in here and I need to get that hot pot right off the stove I can set it on here without any fear of melting it um, you know, going around the outside of this thing, I mean, I got cabinetry all along the, I got the corner cabinets there, I got cabinets all on the inside of the island. Uh, one, two, three doors there, three drawers there, another door here, a drawer underneath the oven. You got large oven, three burner stove, over the range, vented microwave. This is vented to the outside, so it's not a dirty air circulator. Again, more storage. Uh, outlets, spice rack, um, got a four-door fridge, right, with ice maker and water dispenser. Right. And then over here, I have my control panel, nice coat closet, right, nice big space to hang some stuff. Um, down in here, I have my uh, circuit breakers and fuses for the unit, uh, my electric water heater switch. Um, I do have central back in this unit. Obviously, you heard that come on when I started it. That also comes with the uh, the vacuum powered dust pan down there. All right, so I can just sweep my floor over to there, suck everything in. All right, do have fantastic fans. Those are on and running. Um, water heater, water pump, slide controls, and as we pointed out on the outside. I do have an LP generator in here, so I do have a generator control to start and stop my generator. Uh, this unit has 20 hours on the generator, so very, uh, very light use. Power awning switch, and then a speaker selector for my inside and outside speakers. Okay, uh, going up the hallway into a very large and spacious bedroom. Um, again, tons and tons of storage up here, guys. Um, get this out of Dean's way if I can or he can come up here um, washer dryer storage in here if I want to have a washer dryer got dust vac built in looks like the previous customer left us an extra drawer here um, it is vented outside for the dryer so if you want to put a washer dryer in here it's ready to go again all that part of making this thing like your house right um, do have uh, all kinds of built-in storage again I've got six drawer dresser here with the top on it I've got a TV in the bedroom all right another big storage this front closet guys all the way across the front is cedar lined okay so nice cedar lined storage for your clothing uh, full mirror presentation all right and then King size bed. I do want to point out that this is a brand new Ice Relax Sleep Systems mattress with a memory foam uh, cover on the top. Right, so very comfortable. We do have uh, reading lights on the bed. Right, overhead storage. Nice little backlit area between the cabinets, and then another light in the top. We've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners in this unit. Told you we'd talk about cooling inside, so. Again, 
with two 15,000 BTU air conditioners, I can do a lot of cooling in a unit that's insulated as well as this. Okay, uh, we're going to head back down to the, to the bathroom area. I'm going to let Dean go to the bathroom and show you the, the space, and I'll just kind of stand outside and talk about it. So, glass corner neo angled shower, right? We got a nice uh, porcelain bowl toilet. Uh, double toilet paper holder, magazine rack, all kinds of storage in here. Corian countertops in the bathroom even, right? Solid one-piece molded fiberglass tub surround. And a nice full body mirror, right? So any ladies are getting dressed or getting ready to go out, right? Everybody likes a full body mirror to see how they look with this nice big pantry. Okay, so we'll close that back so you can get a shot of that full body mirror. Fantastic fans in the bedroom, the bathroom, and the kitchen. Okay, all with rain sensors. Um, again, all ready just to make your life easy. Make it easy to be in this thing, make it easy to use it, easy to stay in it. Okay, so Dean, if you wanna come back out of the bathroom. He's getting you a few more shots as we walk out of the bedroom down here into the living room area. Again, a very high quality unit, um, very much built to be lived in. Um, you guys that are on the road or gals that are on the road looking for a place to live, this is the place, right? This is the one you need to buy. Uh, so you need to call us and see what we can do to make this yours. So my name's Ray Poston. My cell phone number is 815-509-0464, okay? You can call me at the dealership at 314-487-8000, or you can call my partner Dean. His cell phone number is 314-374-6640. All right, guys, thanks for your time. Hope you have a great day. Please call.